when you say optimize, to, to me that it brings this connotation of, of, of a review of not just, uh, you know, uh, Jason Barber Motors, uh, five stars, uh, great service, right? That, that, that like, like, so how, how are, how can we get dealer, dealers to get, to encourage customers to maybe hit on some of the nuances or, or get, provide more detail and more insight? Because I promise you, if it's negative, they're going to do that, right? How do we get that from a positive standpoint in, in reviews? Well, gosh, there's a lot of, uh, um, there's a lot to, you know, dig out from, from your comment there. Um, and I think you can take that in a lot of different angles, but I, I, I would say, on the surface or really high level, it's just getting people that do have good experiences, which is the lion's share, right? Or, or the businesses wouldn't continue to, to be in business to share their experiences. And you know, to Steve's point earlier, not just interact and engage with those people, but take into consideration the people who are also then viewing uh, those interactions, which again, used to be in person. Now they are, are digital, which makes them infinitely more shareable and, and social, if you will. Yeah, I think one way we do that uh, at Frandemic departs a bit from some of our competitors. Uh, you know, it's become very common now in the industry that post-transaction you have you know an automated software tool that emails or texts all, you know all of your customers and says, "Hey, please go leave me a review." Um, we we provide that as well. Uh, again, that's pretty industry standard, but. You know, consumers don't have a lot of motivation to fill that out. There's a lot of fatigue around, you know, measurement of this type. I mean, you get emails, you know, often the CRM will have links to things like this. You get stuff from the factory that, and consumers get it from every business they talk to now. What we really recommend to get more out of those reviews is what we call it a, a real-time invitation. You know, the best way to do this is at the point of sale between an employee at the dealership and a customer face-to-face. So we, we have a mobile app where you can send the text message or the email right from the, you know, the service advisor or salesperson's phone. And so, you know, Bart, we're so excited that, uh, you know, you got this, your, your new you know, Jeep Gladiator, hope you love it. Can I send you a quick text with a link to our Google page? I'd love it if you could take a few minutes while you wait for, you know, Jim and finance to get everything all rung up. If you, if you, you know, share a couple sentences about your experience. Well, you're far more likely to respond at all, but you're also far more likely to do more than just five stars, no comment, or five stars, loved it, right? I mean, you're actually gonna type up a couple of sentences. And so, you know, where we see the proliferation of lots of review volume with little or no substantive information in the reviews, you know, we believe most of that, and certainly we see it from our own data, are the result of you know, people just doing a perfunctory response to a lot of these automated requests as opposed to a true person-to-person interaction. So if your only goal is review volume and star rating, you know, yeah, those automated requests are great and, and we can do it too. But if you're really trying to you know, speak to you know, the, the Google search graph and, and say, hey, you know, we offer these services and these products and this is what people say, you know, five star no comment review doesn't help you very much. Yeah, and, and where my mind's going is this, this, this blend between um, the, the the marketing that I'm that I'm pushing out right now. I mean, it's 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 now trite, but like you think about COVID and you know home delivery or you know um, you know digital retailing or whatever it is. If I've got those and I'm marketing those to be able to get my customers to kind of, I mean, you know, I, you don't want to coach these, but like validate the stuff that that I that I say I'm marketing. I think there'd be a, huge power in that if you could figure out how to tie the two together it sounds like you're almost saying get credit for what we're doing right we're, right we're this is what we're presenting this is what we're providing to the consumers and this is what we will provide to you future you know hopeful consumer please help us validate that yeah and, and bart i i actually really like your word coaching I, I don't think dealers should should back away from that idea at all no certainly it would violate the review site's terms of service for you to you know, provide a template and say, you know, copy paste this in. I, I I wouldn't go that far, but I don't think it would be inappropriate at all in you know that hypothetical interaction I just role played with you a little bit for someone to say local search and and reviews are so important to our business today. We're really trying to help the community know that you know one of our top values here at you know Barber Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram is you know focus on X. Would you mind mentioning that in your review? 
i don't think that's inappropriate in any way.